and it switches back again. Yeah. Man. What is up, people? I hope we're all having a good day, wherever we are watching this from. And now I have a confession to make. I can kind of be ignorant sometimes. And that normally means that I learn from mistakes slower. So I just do the same thing over and over again, make the same mistakes. So when I got FL Studio like over 10 years ago now, I, I normally just used to use the samples on the left. You get like some like really crap one shots. And it took me forever to even realize that you could use VSTs in FL Studio. Like this was back in the day before we had tutorials. It took me like a year to figure it out. But when I discovered them, when I discovered that you could use a VST, it was like the best day of my life I, I just spent like all day just using Sakura FL keys even I was like oh my god this is like the most realistic piano ever so yeah man I thought I'll go back to the roots today and make a beat using stock plugins only I'm gonna quickly run out to the shop get some food in get back and we're gonna put together or try to put together a hard beat using stock plugins only but before we get into the video come on I, I still check my analytics I see that over 50% of you guys who watch these videos aren't subscribed go on hit, hit the subscribe button come on, I dare you just just hit it once hit it once and hit the bell as well that'll be amazing uh, but yeah let's get into this all right let's go so first plugin I'm going to come in with I think we'll go with flex let's find some sounds and see what we can put together That could work. Something like soft and ambient. Okay, let's stick some chords in. And for anybody wanting to know the preset for this, this is called Purple Lullaby. It's in the Flex plugin. Let's start C. I'm gonna do like a little triplet downwards. Let's try that. I'm gonna offset that bomb note, like just to give it some extra bounce, and then we'll come up to like D right here. Okay, let's go ahead and pull that across, pull that across another bar, and let's go ahead and add some effects to this. Now make it stand out a bit. Cool, got that in. Now I'm gonna come in with, let's try citrus. So I literally haven't used citrus in years. Maybe some kind of art. Just stick that at the beginning. Just gives it kind of like an aqua sort of ocean kind of feel. Is it in key though? It sounds a bit weird. Let me try a different sound. Maybe that. Alright, this actually might be quite fire. Let's try one more citrus and might add like another layer to this. Wind. Super simple, nothing too crazy with that. Just going and EQ some stuff out first. Get rid of some of the top end. Okay, let's add another EQ and soften it up again a little bit. Just this 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 midsection right here is really harsh. Okay, half time. All right, cool. Now I'm just gonna add like some kind of top melody. So let's go in. I might use a third party plugin, not a stock plugin, but it's a free plugin. It's a free plugin. Let's try Labs. It's got this guitar preset that sounds pretty cool. Alright, 
cool. Let's duplicate that cross. Cross like that. Let's randomize them as well. Play with the velocities, play with the pan in. We're getting there. All right, cool. Last thing, last thing, last thing is some keys. I'm just going to go in with the classic, the classic FL keys. I'm going to copy and paste that first melody. I'm going to put like a reverse type effect on it. So let's just stick back mask on it. Okay, cool. I think I'm happy with this. I've got like a lot, like enough elements in this now as to where I can kind of lay this out into a full beat. I'm just going to lay this into like a quick, into a quick loop. Just separate everything. All right, we're in there. We're in. We are in. I did quite a few layers to this and I've kind of made a few changes, but I want to make this sound not stocky. So I did lots of effects, lots of layers, you know, just to kind of really build out the melody a lot. I've got this bounced out as a loop. I'm going to go in, start a new project just to clean everything up a little bit and then add some drums. I'm going to downsample it a bit just to give it more of a realistic kind of texture. Let's go with like 10k. I'm going to come into the Artemis kit, you know what it is. So like a little triplet right here, but a bit like kind of quiet. Like kind of rising like that. Nice and catchy. Let's go in with the hi hat next. The art of miss. Clap. Open hat at the beginning. And then a rim shot, I think. It's gonna stack that clap up a little bit. All right, cool. Let's go in with the Anubis kit. I wanna add some more bounce to these hi-hats. They're kind of a little bit stagnant at the moment. Right there. All right, cool. Let's go in with a kick. Sounds pretty cool. Uncharted kit. I think a snail will sound good with this beat. Now I think I'm actually coming with some half time with this melody now. Let's like bring that in and out because I think the, the energy is kind of high and I don't want it to be that high for the whole beat. You want to have some kind of low moments. So let's add some half time in and hopefully we can create that with the half time. Yeah, yeah, there you go. If we have that rim shot coming in and out with the, the clap, like have them switch between each other. So it goes from that to like after this bar. Hang on. And then it switches back again. Yeah. Man, that sounds sick. That sounds sick. Yeah. I'm happy with that turned out. That turned out pretty, 
pretty hard. And it just goes to show, like, you don't need to have the best plugins to get, like, a decent sound out of FL Studio. You can use stock plugins as long as you've got like some good effect and effects are generally more cheaper than VSTs so if you've got enough money to you know invest in some good effects then that's probably the way to go but yeah man you can get really good sound out of, out of FL Studio stock plugins you just need to do a bit more to it you know in order to like make it sound a bit more realistic but you know get you some hard drums stick some good effects on the uh, melody and you're pretty much good to go uh, so yeah man I hope you guys enjoyed that one that little cook up make sure you subscribe hit the bell make sure you turn on notifications on like the video that helps out these videos like a whole lot and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video See you in the next one.